What's up? Uh, actually, hold on. I need to change my Windows volume. Yay, dark channel. Alright. What's up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3 multi. Whoa, whoa, nice barrel roll, broham. Jeez. Anyway, 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 barrel rolls aside, what's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, where today we are looking at one of the most. Uh, one of the least played classes in the game, and I, 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 this is not just me saying this for the sake of, I wish they would stop spawning on the LZ, this sucks. Tell me I got that noise. Now this is just not me saying, there's actually, there are actual stats posted by the Bioware devs, um, that have the like top 10 least played classes for all difficulties for just gold and platinum and as it turns out the big fat ugly disgusting batarian slasher is on both of those lists for all difficulties hey where's the i got to take a look at the second screen here for all difficulties he ranks number four four out of ten for a grand total of 0.61% of the time he is played. That is uh, pretty, that's pretty incredible. And for the just gold and platinum difficulties, where is this at? He is at 8th out of 10 for 0.62%. Not much of a change in percentage, but because of the difficulty switch he is. Bump down a few places in. I, I, that's... Hmm. As to what? Oh God, that's not what I. <laughs> that's not what I want to be looking at. I'm gonna run away. Is what I'm pretty good at. I don't. I don't know why it is. Probably just because he's an ugly class. And plus, you know, when you think cluster grenades, you think big bad Drell adept and Drell adepts personify the cool factor. So maybe that's what it is. But I am here to tell you the Batarian Slasher is not half bad at all pretty he's a pretty pretty good guy he specializes in absolutely and thoroughly destroying reapers and collectors and if, if you cannot stand reapers and collectors the batarian slasher is the guy for you because he has got all the tools to shit all over them have a real real good time doing it and there's really not much they can do to stop it i mean you've got biotics biotics by default absolutely destroy armors and bears and lo and behold that is what the reapers and collectors are all about they have no units they have shields so you won't have to worry about any damage penalties and you know, they do have some units with health but biotic explosions destroy anything that is down to their health bar so that's not a big deal so we'll take a look at his tools here you've got warp you've got warp I mean tried and true one of the best debuffing powers in the game 15% weapon damage, 15% power damage, 50% armor weakening. Oh, that is just good stuff all around. You, you cannot go wrong with warp. And plus, if you use a light enough weapon, come off cooldown pretty, pretty... Get this stupid thing out of my way. Baseball, that some bitch. All right, where's that Praetor? I, can, I, can't, I can't hear as well as I should. So, you've got warp. Debuffs everything so you can do more damage. Since you're using warp, that's a primer. That means you use warp ammo. Warp ammo is going to do a whole lot of damage. I don't know what the numbers are. It's like 100% of base damage or something. I don't know. It's a lot. Whatever the tooltip is, it's whatever percent damage that is of the base weapons damage. Wraith, huh, as it turns out, does quite a bit of damage. So, when you use this guy, big... Big, slow, powerful weapons are what you want to what you want to aim for. You know, uh, Claymore, Wraith, AT-12 Raider. You could probably even do this with a sniper rifle if you wanted to. Paladin. It's if it shoot if it sh shoots slow, it shoots hard. That is a very very good gun to use. It all serves to buff out that warp ammo damage. And oh, look at that! The Reapers, all about that armor, all about that bears. <laughs> And warp ammo shits all over it. Fantastic stuff right there. And then this is this is the meat and potatoes of of the whole setup. Cluster grenades. I mean, honestly, I, I knew cluster grenades hit hard before. Warp just serves to make it hit 
even harder. That 15% power damage, that make that adds a ton of damage to cluster grenades. It is crazy. And then you add on on, on top of that the 50% biotic explosion damage from warp, and so th these cluster grenades are going to be hitting harder than anything Adrell Adept is even capable of. And plus, you've got the 100% prime damage. 100% prime damage from... What is it? Or added bonus to cluster grenades. That factors in with cluster grenades and warp prime. It's crazy. The, the amount of armor and barrier damage this guy is capable of is incredible. If you decide to use a claymore and you're playing against the Reapers, I'm pretty sure you can... Where is the Praetorian at? I'm pretty sure you can warp, claymore, cluster grenades, and you've got a dead brute in front of you. I mean, look what I'm doing to these Scion. Well, I guess I had a little assist there, but pretty much this is, this is how it goes. You warp it, you headshot it, if it's still alive, you shoot it again. I mean, look, look what I'm gonna do to this possessed Praetorian. It is not even... Oh, no, 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 damn it! You're not supposed to do that bubble so damn fast. I gotta get the Praetorian on my own. I gotta show you guys what this bad boy is capable of. I think I'll go down here. Oh, he don't like getting shot in the face? Well, too bad. Maybe you should move it. And if you can get... and. Oh, this is another thing. He also is good at taking out the Reapers because, as it turns out, the Reapers, they did not take Piccolo's school of dodging shit. They do not know how to dodge. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not going to scream it. Not going to scream it. Not in the mood for it tonight. Sorry. Anything that you need to warp and cluster grenade is incapable of dodging. That just serves to buff the ever-loving hell out of what this guy can do. It is fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Mm. Good stuff. They can't dodge. You've got a whole lot of damage debuffs. You got a whole lot of damage for those damage debuffs. You've got cluster grenades. And for small maps like this, and for big bulky units, they like to get stuck around corners and all that stuff. Damn it. Who did that? That's no good. One of these days I'll get the Praetorian all by myself, but we do have some pretty high-powered teammates. Probably one of the best decked out teams I've been in in a recent memory. But see, see, look what I can do to this side. All but damn it, Dark Channel! I don't need your help. Well, if I can't get it, you'll just have to take my word for it. You think someone with that high level would well, know? You don't cast things. Oh, hold on. I'll save them. Watch this. All This is all me right here. Look at that. Uh, uh, look at that. Round two. Look at that. Amazing. The Batarian Slasher's spike damage is probably only matched by Javelin Geth Infiltrators, and that is just by nature of what Geth Infiltrators do. Strongest DPS class in the game by far, but the fact that an adept can come pretty close to it. I mean, I don't know. Oh, 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 <laughs> Magnet, Magnet Gauntlet, my favorite. Oh, we got Flamer in here too. Jeez. So not so. I mean, look at that. One warp, and I wasn't even shooting that Praetorian in the head. One warp and two wraith shots took this bear, this guy's barriers down couple of cluster grenades. I haven't been able to get a good grouping on the throw yet, but I, I think with this combo you could take them down. If you get a good one, if you get a good one, two headshot, two well-placed headshots, one well pla or three well-placed <laughs> cluster grenades, uh, he, he should be down to half health without a doubt. So pretty... I don't think so. Damn it! Still hit me. Oh! Out of grenade... Oh, I guess I can use my thermal clip packs. That's what they're there for after all. Using them on grenade classes. That's the. B yeah, if you're at. Ever, ever look at your uh, inventory and see that you have too many thermal clip packs? Using a grenade class is a good way to uh, go about. Fi oh, you're still alive? Cheap ass collectors and their buffed out crazy health for bionic explosions. Crazy. Just crazy. But at the end of the day, guy. Amazing against big fat boss units. It just so happens that the Reapers and Collectors have more of them. I mean, you can still do very well against uh, you know all the other all the other fact, but you might have to change out your lo loadout just a little bit to get. Damn it! Get this thing away from me. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, you you stay over. No, no. Oh shit. I don't want I don't want the biotic explosion to send that thing flying my way. That would have been bad news. Look at that. Two well placed shots and the scion is almost dead. Incredible. We got some incredible deeps here. Not half bad at all. That's okay. I weakened it up for you. You're welcome. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was going to blow my cooldowns off. That would have been bad. I do love my warp. Warp is very good. The best pow. D damn it! <laughs> Way they bob and weave sometimes makes them really hard to hit. Should just warp them. Alright, let's see if I can pop the sack on the back. Eh, yep, and dead. That that combo right there, warp, shoot, cluster grenade, it's good for just about everything in the game. If you're playing against uh, Cerberus and you have really good accuracy, oh, you are going to have going to have a pretty good time. Pretty, pretty good time. Though with the phantoms, you know, might need uh, some good grenade toss in there. Or you can just cheese it with the Acolyte or Scorpion, whatever floats your boat. And since you don't get, have to get Lash, Lash is just no... no Really can't spare any point. You need to max out warp. That's mandatory. You need to max out cluster grenades. That's also mandatory. Remember, biotic explosions do more damage based on how many. What the? What the? F why is the cluster grenade over there? It's weird. From biotic explosions, they do more damage based on the ranks of the powers that you've got going on for it. Look at that one shot. Oh, oh! Look at that. Four bars of armor. Incredible. That is all the bartender right there. He is sick of this bullshit. He's sick of collectors. He's sick of magnet claws. He's especially sick of butt lasers. I mean, don't even get me started on the butt. God damn it, get back here. I'm not done with you. No one gets away from the bartender. Once he sets his sights on something, it has got to get fucked up. That is, it, it, it's just the way it goes. Oh, look at that. You took cover around the wrong thing, friend. Meet Batarian Gauntlet to the face. Crushing skulls all day. That is what I do best. Blowing heads off. Blowing things up with biotics. Mm. Just incredible. Just imagine the damage I could add as well if I had proximity mind debuffs on him. But I don't know what he's doing. He's off all over the place doing what Geth Infiltrators do. Yeah, <laughs> I had a feeling I was about to get flanked by one of you. Assholes. Come on, come on, come on. Just me and you, one on one. Come on, you got you. Can you? Yeah, <laughs> he can't take what I'm dishing out. It's incredible. Uh, but still, even though this class is really powerful, still probably not going to be played a whole lot. I mean, looking at this list, this is a really, really cool. I'll actually uh, put it in the uh, in the description of this video. Let me read it off once I can get a breather here. So on this list for gold and platinum only, number one, Drill Vanguard. Number two, BF3 Soldier. Sorry, I had the headshot. Number three, Volus Protector Vanguard. Number four, Volus Mercenary Sentinel. Five, Orcha Hunter Engineer. Six, Corian Marksman Soldier. Seven, Human Sentinel. Eight, Slasher. Nine, Volus Adept. Ten, Human Infiltrator. Yeah, not a whole lot of love for those base, some of the, some base human classes. And uh, def <laughs> definitely the Volus, not the... Uh, not among the coolest kids of the bunch, that's for sure. And the least play kit's all difficult. This is really surprising. The male Corian engineer. I don't know, it's surprising that anyone with arc grenades can be qualified as the least play. And that's really surprising. Maybe, maybe it's because grenade gear. Truth be, that class does depend on having a high level grenade gear. So maybe, maybe that's the problem. Not everyone is a no laugh nerd like me and has max manifest to play with all that sort of great thing. So maybe maybe that 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 applies to the Batarian slasher as well. On top of being a Batarian, I mean, after all, he is really ugly. And you know, in games like this, people like to play play the uh, fancy looking class. I mean, why play this big, slow, ugly looking moron when you can play a big bad N7 destroy with cool looking armor? Doesn't give a shit about staggers, you know that sort of thing. Wield the almighty typhoon, all powerful, big ammo. It's, eh, I mean, it makes sense. Grenade class on top of being not 
not so cool looking at all. And this is it's not like he's not like ugly cool. You know, like, you know, let's say undead. <laughs> undead from WoW or I mean goddamn undead are ugly as shit in that game. But they, 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 they did have a cool factor to them, so that's why there's plenty of them. Not as much of the night elves, though. I don't Night elves definitely aren't very cool, but uh, just it, all about them aesthetically pleasing themes or something like that. Batarians do not fit that bill, so went went. Meaning you guys are, if you've been following my Mass Effect 3 videos for any amount of time, you know how much praise I sing about the uh, Batarian soldier, and you rarely see that guy. Oh well, more infernal grenades and ballistic blades for me. I need more biotic explosion kills. I've been shooting things in the face with the shotgun too much. As crazy as that sounds. <laughs> but at the end of the day, Batarian, Slasher, some of the best spike damage in the game. He's got some good AoE damage to go with it. His weapon damage, pretty pretty well up there too. Just pretty damn good character all around. Can, can, you got the skills to pay the bills? No, he's... Okay. I don't know which way he was going. <laughs> I'll take over from here. Damn it! No! Stay back! Yeah, I'll missile. Probably didn't have to, but I don't care. I got plenty of missiles. Hmm, I think I will go this way and out back this way. If I can get to it first. No, not hit. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know where he's going. No, oh, well. Oh god, I hope that doesn't blow him over here. Ah, that's okay. Cluster grenades missed anyway. <laughs> well, I killed the teammate. That's a winner. I'm a jerk. Taking the ladder. Trying to be creep. Trying to be tricksy, huh? Well, it worked. Run! Plus the Batarian Slasher, this is also a nice bonus that he has. He does have very high base health and shields, 1425 each with the uh, fitness tree maxed out. So pretty good stuff there. You can honestly, if you wanted to, you can probably go melee and uh, still do pretty well there. So that option is there. That well, oh, the, What the? I shot it in the head! Oh, come on. I know I saw the fucking pop. Snap, crackle, pop that some bitch. And plus, with uh, high-powered shotguns, especially uh, claymore and wraith, if you can get the uh, if you can get the timing down, it's very, very easy to do. Like the the warp shoots, shoot twice, reload, and then cancel out that reload with a cluster grenade or another warp throw. So. Very, very smooth combo character to play if that is your your type of deal, if that's what you into. No, no, no getting possessed. Not on my watch. Alright, I'll run past him, get him to go on his feet. And please, 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 when you want to cast powers on the Praetorians, be sure to do that. Run to them so that they go into the laser cast mode. What the? There was a... Damn it! Because when you proc that bubble, the, be the bubble is bad. Bad news, bubble. Do not do that. That gives the Praetorian 50% damage reduction. 50% is quite a lot. Oh god, I should probably be careful. Oh no! Run! Damn abomination, staggering me the wrong way. I think I'll just wait for him to come up the stairs. How about that? See, look at that smooth combo action. Does not get any better than that. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to turn. That's not what I want to turn the corner and do. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that's good AOE damage. You can get a fantastic AOE damage. You can get him in a choke point like that. Mm. Mm-mm, good. Make mama proud with that one. Oh, God. Won't make mama proud if I blow myself up with an abomination. And, boys and girls, that 
is all she wrote. Ah, <laughs> he died on the LZ. Sucker. That's what he gets for not being a tricksy Geth infiltrator. That's his problem. I think that was a Geth infiltrator, right? Oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> And we'll take a look at the tools of the trade here. Standard warp stuff. Standard cluster grenade stuff for biotic classes. Batarian Enforcer. Weapon damage. A lot of damage is done by weapons. Don't forget that. And since eh, headshots, that's not really not enough of a bonus to justify foregoing at least some power damage. I mean, you can go double power damage. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't really matter. But this power damage, it's pretty good stuff. I mean, look at that. 887 base. Toss in a power amp. Toss in all those debuffs. Ooh, that is some scary damage in full fitness here. Too bad it's heavy melee. <laughs> Doesn't increase uh, power damage. But then again, weapon damage is always pretty good. But that is the bartender serving up a whole lot of cluster grenades to their faces. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, peace out.